Kentucky ranks number nine in the nation for human trafficking. There have been thousands of cases reported in the state. A recently formed organization in Richmond hopes to tackle the problem. Georgia MacArthur tells us how the group called Redeeming Hope is training others to help victims. I want to thank all of you ladies. Lisa Foster is turning her grief into a purpose. In my prayer closet, I told God if he was going to make me live, he was going to have to give me something to do. So it was just shortly after that that I got a text from somebody asking me if I would do this. A year ago, Lisa Foster's daughter, Jordan Morgan, was killed in a home invasion. Morgan had a passion for fighting against trafficking. She was an attorney uh, at one time in Northern Kentucky, a prosecuting attorney. So uh, I remembered she was actually on the human trafficking task force in Northern Kentucky. So it was like, it came full circle and that was the, the right thing for me to do. Redeeming Hope plans to help girls as young as 14 who have been trafficked and sexually abused in Kentucky by building a group home. We're gonna have a memorial called the Jordan Morgan where these girls can go out and reflect in the garden. It backs up to a creek, but we're calling it the Jordan River. <laughs> so uh, we're just hoping these girls can get in there and get away from the lifestyle, you know, and, and the um, problems that they've had with life. The mayor, Madison County attorney, and chief of police came together with the Community for Human Trafficking Awareness Training. In 2020, there were 413 reports that were called in for Kentucky specifically to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The organization says it will restore relationships with survivors by offering therapy from social workers and most of all, love to the young women who have lived through terrible experiences. Well, it's one of those things that you really don't notice until people provide you with statistics. In Berea, Georgia MacArthur, Fox 56 News.